Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Now, this is a movie that I have been looking for for a couple of years when I first saw the trailer to it, which it was two years old after or after the fact. This movie is called Lights Out. It was done in 2016. It was directed by David Sandberg, and James Wan was a producer. So James Wan, yeah, you know this movie's going to be good. This movie had a very modest budget at $4.9 million estimate. And for a $4.9 million movie to have special effects and practical effects that good, yeah. This movie, objectively speaking, folks, is 9 out of 10. And the acting, the even of the cast, Teresa Palmer, who played Rebecca, Gabriel Bateman, who played a young Martin, the young boy Martin, Alexander de Persia, who plays the boyfriend, Billy Burke, who played the father to Martin, and stepfather to Rebecca, Maria Bello, who plays Sophie, the mom, then there's Diana, I can't remember the actress's name, who plays her, she's not listed here, on the uh, digital thing that I'm looking at, the digital library card. Now, <clears throat> to give you a brief summary, plot summary thing, when Rebecca left her home, she thought she left her childhood fears behind. Growing up, she was never really sure what was and wasn't real when the lights went out. And now her little brother Martin is experiencing the same unexplained and terrifying events that had once tested her sanity and threatened her safety. A frightening entity, Diana, that with a mysterious attachment to her mother, Sophie, has emerged. But this time, as Rebecca gets closer to unlocking the truth, there is no denying all their lives are in danger once the lights go out. This movie is very freaking good. They have a lot of claustrophobic cinematography to give you a truly chilling feel that you never know when the, the scare is coming. And then they get it to you and it's just like wow it's like just bah! they got good jump scares and the way that they have done Diana is very well done when she's in darkness and there's no black light around she you can't see her what she looks like she's all black with glowing like white dim glowing eyes and it is very freaking creepy. She has long, sharp nails. It's all freaking great. And the special effects, other than a couple of things, the only two problems that are wrong with this movie, objectively, is the special effects of Diana's skin burning, because it gives kind of like a paper-burning, ember-glowing feel, which it's like, no, I'm not really sure on that. That just doesn't seem right. And it's not from subjective, it's from an objective opinion. That just, it, that's, it would have looked better if they had gone scalding flesh or burning, sizzling flesh. Where hit, hissing flesh that blisters. That's, that makes more realistic sense. Now, the recordings that they have of mental institution and stuff from her mom's pa or from the mother's past Sophia Sophia's or Sophie's character that also includes Diana when she was alive um those just seemed weird those did not seem like they actually came from a sanatorium they seemed like they were forced reading and whatnot those are the only real problems with this film and those are very brief problems. They're very brief. Now, this movie has a good ending twist to how they get rid of her. It's... This movie is just that well done. Subjectively, and moviegoer, it's both 5 out of 5. 4 out of 5, or 4.5 out of 5, objectively, for a movie with a budget of 4.9 million, that does rely on digital effects here and there it's just freaking amazing that this movie has that good of an objective quality the acting between Alexander de Persia and Teresa Palmer 
is awkward in moments, but it's designed to be that way because this is a couple that is trying to take that next step in their relationship. One doesn't want to do it, the other does. The boyfriend wants to kind of stay over once in a while, and the girlfriend doesn't. She's kind of reluctant. Then all this weird shit happens, and you're really thrown into it. The pacing of this movie is well done, in my objective opinion. When it comes to a horror movie, you have a little bit of choppiness here and there. But otherwise, it's a very well put together film. I thoroughly enjoyed it. The scares are interesting. I'm actually going to be looking up on here to see if Altiori has actually taken a look at this film. Because she likes these kind of movies, the horror movies and the kind of entities in horror movies that are interesting. So I'm definitely going to see if she has, and if she hasn't, I'm definitely recommending this movie to her. Because I think that she will like it, and I think that she will definitely do some videos that are interesting. She has great theories on stuff. I mean, she's right now tackling the MonsterVerse. She's also tackling uh, the movie Life with Calvin, the alien from Mars. That Yeah, I did a review on that as well. Anyway, this movie is, gosh, I could go on and on saying how good this movie was. With a budget of 4.9 million, that's, this movie did very, very well. In my objective opinion. I don't know what its box office earning was. Let me see if I could find that out. Yeah, I just looked it up, and sh yeah, this movie definitely made back its uh, money. 149 million or 167 million worldwide, and like 49 million, I think, domestically. This movie definitely made back its money. Holy crap! This movie made back its money <laughs> with that kind of budget. Holy crap! Anyway, folks, that's going to be the video. I truly enjoyed this movie, and I definitely recommend it for all of you guys. So, yeah, you all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section if you have seen Lights Out. What did you think of this movie? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did it scare you? Did it jump scare you? Let me know all those juicy details. Make sure you have the bell notification on for more reviews. Stay tuned for this Friday. We got our next Versus stream coming up. We got Jason Bourne versus John Wick. John Wick's returning from the very first Versus stream I did. Now, we got Runner Studios hopefully coming in. We got Script Doctor, Drew Taylor, and Lyndon Howe from The Full Aussie coming in. I'm reaching out to see if Altiori wants to come in because she actually did a video of Jason Bourne versus John Wick versus Batman. So I'm wondering if she would actually like to do this movie or do this uh live stream with us on friday night 9 p.m eastern standard i do i've had this plan for a while but when i saw her video it's like i do want to invite her in because i think she might enjoy it but only if she's able if she's not well unfortunately that's the way the cookie crumbles in this instance anyway folks hope you all have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching this has been horn chat reviews Stay humble.